61,000 doses of the Moderna are going to arrive today is what we're tracking. And then tomorrow, um, so 61,000 today, and I think tomorrow is going to be over 300,000. Now at five, hundreds of thousands of doses of two coronavirus vaccines are coming to help Floridians fight the deadly virus. That is welcome news as the state adds more than 11,000 new COVID cases and additional 112 deaths. Just days after emergency approval of the Moderna vaccine, doses arrived at hospitals around South Florida. CBS4's Joan Murray takes a look at the major step now underway to contain the coronavirus. This is a marathon, not a sprint. The arrival of the Moderna vaccine here in South Florida is another step towards getting this virus under control. It's here, little more than 48 hours after emergency use approval. Some of the first vials of the Moderna vaccine were offloaded at a Baptist Health warehouse in Doral. The vaccine is stored in regular freezers and doesn't require the deep freeze of the Pfizer vaccine. The more vaccine we have, the faster we can go through our healthcare workers who really need it. And then we can get on to those who outside of our essential workers like our warehouse personnel, a lot of background folks that help keep Baptist moving. Moderna now the second lifeline for health care workers in South Florida. Thousands have already been given the Pfizer vaccine, which arrived last week, and it's still being distributed throughout Broward County, while Broward Health gets ready to get their first shipment of the Moderna vaccine. As the healthcare workers get inoculated with the vaccine, they're protected, so the effects on our healthcare infrastructure is protected. That allows us the opportunity to help the people that come seek help. We can continue to care for those COVID-19 people, putting our staff at less risk. And then we also demonstrate in our vaccine, we also demonstrate that it's safe for the general population to take the vaccine as well. Nicholas Children's Hospital in Miami began inoculating their medical staff for the first time with the Pfizer vaccine Monday. This step will help protect um, our healthcare workers, their families, um, and, and really the community in general. South Florida long-term care residents and staff are in the second week of vaccinations. The governor said he continues to send in strike teams to bolster CBS and Walgreens vaccine distribution to assisted living facilities. There was a certain number of people that wanted it, then as more people got the shots and it was fine, then people that day said, I want it. And then I think what you'll see is as more and more days go by and people realize that it's safe, then I think you'll see even more people sign up for it. According to the CDC, the next round of shots will focus on 75 and over individuals, essential workers, including teachers, first responders, and grocery store workers. So the timeline right now for the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines here in South Florida, mainly you'll see healthcare workers and those in assisted living facilities getting inoculated. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.